You know, I swear I have a bow somewhere in this world. I know it's somewhere, and I remember crafting it, and but yet for the life of me, I can never find the freaking thing. It's never, it's not in the ender chest, it's not in the main storage room. I honestly cannot remember where it was at. And by the way, I just remembered something. Fish. You know how long that guy's been stuck in here? He's been in there for a hot minute. But welcome back everybody to another episode of the Lone Wolf Survival Series. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just randomly digging through these barrels here. Maybe I accidentally stuck it in one of these. And that thing has been sitting there for a really hot minute too, come to think about it. Uh, oh, oh, oh wow, we have some concrete in here. Okay, well I didn't really realize that. But today we're going to be uh, starting down there in the underwater area a little bit. Uh, I have an idea in mind. Uh, I, what I did not want to do is I did not want to do something traditional, you know, where like the uh, the, the dome pieces and things like that. And, uh, you know, cause I've been looking on the, on the, the, the inter, internet, I cannot talk for some reason, on the internet. And, you know, been digging up some pictures and stuff like that. Also the minecart underneath here. Uh, it's stuck. It doesn't move for some weird reason. And I've been looking up pictures, and uh, I've noticed a common theme where it's like it's always like a dome piece, and it's always some type of bubble glass thing. And I'm trying to get away from doing that. Even just the idea of having a circle uh, down there. So it's going to be kind of I don't want to say boxy. It's going to have a little bit of uh, 3Dism to it, um, and a little bit of depth to it. But it's definitely not going to be dome piece like the amount of random stuff I find in these chests sometimes like I swear this has been in here this is just yeah like it what's map two two what's what is this oh this is oh that's that up there oh check that out I don't know why it's called that though I don't know why it's called map two two four though uh, for being honest with each other here. Okay, so that's been in there for a hot minute. Uh, these barrels are empty. Yeah, I know I have a bow. I really do not know where it's at though. And I forgot all this is up here. Why do I have cake and cookies? That's not something I, I craft. Um, so that's that's actually pretty interesting, and I don't ever come in here. And actually, you know what? I need to fix this because before the the world got jacked up, uh, we had actually fixed that. And of course, it's not in here. There's nothing ever in here. And I forget these chests. This chest is even out. Oh wow! What do we got in here? Potion of regeneration, potion of poison. A uh, heart of the sea is in here. Oh, wow! We um. Uh, there's a whole thing of cobble deep slate in here. I actually thought this was just like some junk chest There's actually some good stuff in that chest. That's been here since um, I Think since we made this side of the house, so it's been there for quite a while All right, so let me take you guys down here for a little bit This as soon as the thing decides it wants to like, you know focus in or whatever I wish there was like a potion. Oh god dang it. I wish there was a potion or some sort of effect that you could get this like night vision underwater. You know what I mean? Because you've got like the night vision where you can see under the water from the surface. But what about, like, what about like underwater vision? You know what I mean? So you can actually see stuff like this. I don't have to get like all up and close and personal to it. But anyways, this is going to be... I'm having a few ideas with this. I don't know if I like it, but I put it here just for... The sake of keeping it here but i was thinking that maybe this right here could be like the tunnel that we use a minecraft uh, minecraft minecart to get into from the tunnel that's right over there see like look at this why can't we get this underwater you know what i mean that way i don't have to keep doing this thing but like um yeah like a minecart gets diverted and then we go down in here to the underwater lab and then this right here, yeah so it's just be like a tunnel or or the alternative is this is somehow the entrance that requires like an airlock and but then that requires me having to come underwater and I don't think it's a little real, realistic so I think maybe we come out of the tunnel right there and this right here is just kind of like the entrance level so to speak it's also going to be raised off the ground so it's like it's going to be sitting on a platform but this is just going to be kind of like a, a rough idea 
of what these buildings are going to look like. So we'll have like one here, maybe this one's a two story for whatever reason. And then, uh, you know, it'll come back off into here and then it'll come into different modulations all throughout this area that we uh, that we cleared out be for different reasons and different different things and different things that we're studying, you know, mobs and vehicles and you know what I mean? Kind of the same premises of what was going on over there, but not exactly what was going on over there. Because you got to remember what this is used for. I don't know if I ever explained what this uh, over here was actually used for, but this right here is... It was more or less our, um, you know, our main laboratory base, you know, planetary type thing. Our communication tower set here. This room right here was used for uh, propulsion design for ships and things like that. This is our like little command center for, you know, when we go into outer space and stuff like that. We start traveling around. This is where we developed the engine, actually, for our uh, propulsion system on our spaceship that we haven't actually cruised in a while. We need to. We need, to, we need to take that thing for a ride. Make sure everything like still works because, um, yeah. Oh, our spacesuit over there. I haven't done in quite some time. Can I? Can I? Can I just freaking? I hate these these things. Most no. I mean, it wouldn't be a problem if it was just like here and there, but they spawn like all the freaking time. Uh, I thought I got rid of that one. One of these I got rid of the side of, at least I thought, but I guess not. Anyway, so we'll remove the um, deep slate blocks right there. But this is roundabouts the style that we're going to be working with here. Of course, I can, I got to finish around the, uh, you know, the the little stands that it's sitting on all the way around. But other than that, and then this right here, I think we're going to go with that option of linking this up to the. Um, yeah to the rail that's right over there and then uh but yeah it's looking pretty cool i think you know it seems like every time i gotta come down into this area right here i have no idea of what in the world is going on right now but i did install the lights that uh we had previously so i am starting to get everything back to where it was but this is the section that goes all the way to our storage room um, actually, this is the section that goes all the way to our, our house. So we've remodern remodernized the house, but now I just realized I'm supposed to put a piston somewhere so when the overload happens, it cuts the circuit off. Although I don't remember how I implemented that everywhere like this. I have no idea what this line is. Um, I th okay, that's some type of indicator light over there um this is the block that i need that goes back to the house which coincidentally i used the same same block so that's good and it's the only block in here uh, but like see like that block right there that how did i oh gosh how did i implement that block into oh okay i just took it from i just took it from another line it looks like okay so i guess that's pretty much what i got to do with this one is retract maybe that block somehow but if i was to do that oh gosh darn it how would i i gotta pull it basically from that slab line right there that's the main line that repeater right there specifically uh, from what i've been able to gather so can i pull it can i pull it from this is that how we're going to do that? I need to retract that block. So I think maybe we can get away with doing that. Okay, so I think... Oh gosh darn it. I think I have someone of a, of an idea here. I just got to make sure that this thing is not going to be uh, powered by some sort of random repeater or strong powered from some random source, which I don't think it is. So I think we should be straight there. So all we gotta do is just grab a little bit of dusticles. Just bring it around. Oh no. Um uh, crap. I need that to go the other <laughs> I need it to go the other way. Fuck. Um I need it reversed. Um, or nope, I can't do that with a repeater. Uh, crap. Alright, that was some serious finagling that I just had to 
do there. But I think we uh, pulled it off. So that's the line right there that's going to go to that piston that's going to retract it. Um, there is a repeater on the other side of it, which is why I had to do a little bit of extra finagling. Yeah, like right there. And then uh, a block right there to keep that from going powered, cross-powering and things like that. So this place is, this place is really getting to be very... Um, very 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 finagled but we've managed is that a zombie at the end of my tunnel what does that look like over there no that's just okay that's just some weird stuff i do i gotta i gotta re-add the stupid signs back onto these but i do want to add the railroad system the railroad tracks to uh maybe this lever right here and that's another thing i need to check i need to make sure that all of these other Things are getting, oh, there's just so much wiggly squiggly that's going on down there. It's not even, it's really not even funny. It's been it's starting to get, ah, uh, you know, the infinite world thing. And I cram everything underneath this space right here underneath me. It's pretty stupid. And also, okay, never mind. That's part of the floor. Also, since we did get all the lamps installed in here. Uh, I did figure out how to do this room, but I don't know if I'm happy about it. It kind of seems very cramped now down here, but this is pretty much what we came up with. Uh, basically, I just lowered everything lowered everything down by one block, so uh, I don't know how I feel about it, but uh, it gets the job done at least, right? And that's the main thing. It gets the job done. I should probably put these back where they belong. Take this thing, put it back right there. Also, I don't know if I'm going to do the adventure room that we had uh, made in the previous episodes that I now I'm not going to remake because obviously, and that, and I also wasn't a, completely happy with it. I seem to remember, uh, it just seemed like something I just threw together real quick. And also this room right here, I ended up keeping it. Uh, if I recall in the previous episodes, I ended up ripping it out completely. So, but I did decide that, you know, maybe we'll keep this and I'll just like have a back wall right here. And we can continue on to, to keep the observation room for our mob spawner that's, or mob farm that's right here. And then once we come up into here, we've got, you know, of course the uh, connection room. I, you know, I, I had this idea that maybe we could turn this into... Ooh, I was gonna say some type of control room, but uh, this is a bit cramped, actually, right here. I don't know. Could I get away with extending it back? I don't want to bring it up this way because I love this little section right here. Uh, could I kick it back this way some? I could, but it takes out that window. But I'd be upset with that. I don't know. I don't think I would. I don't know. That's a little humming and harring. That's got to be done. Also, I just realized I did something funky right here. But okay. Um. Oh, that's why this is an even number because this is weird. Okay, that makes total sense. I don't know. I, I, this has been like this forever, though. You know what I mean? But I guess it would kind of make sense a little bit. I love having this window here. Ooh, that's going to be... Or maybe, you know, maybe we take another room and make it the control room or something. I still don't like this up here either. And I'm forgetting a block right there. I'm not happy with that. Up there. There's a lot of things I'm starting to realize I'm not happy with with the house. Um, and that's kind of one of them. I gotta say, this tunnel right here is kind of dope. Check this thing out. Look at that building over there, dude. That thing looks pretty sweet. And imagine just having having a big old just underwater laboratory right there. That looks cool. Um, I'm coming down here to see exactly where this is going to get lined up. And I think it's on this block right here, it looks like. And I'm trying to be curious. Well, I'm not trying to be curious. I am curious on how this is going to play out because this looks like this is the ocean right underneath here um uh, okay um i thought this sat right on top of the hill so maybe 
This is not where I thought this was. Come on, place, place to block. Place to block. There we go. Oh, that looks cool. Um, yeah. All right, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. A bit, a bit of a redstone challenge, but I think it's one I can figure out pretty easily. But that's probably going to be it for today's episode. I think we... I mean, I've, I did a lot of stuff. I mean... We built this thing. I've had to redo a lot of the redstone wiring that went underneath the ground right here. Um, fix a couple of things over there. Uh, but anyway, everybody, I hope you all did, did enjoy this video. If you did, please click the like button. If you can be motivated to make more of these, please click the subscribe. That's all I have time for you guys today. And me and the Jolly Llama right here will catch you in the next episode. Dude, you've been here for quite some time. You, you must be hungry at some point. <laughs>